What is up everybody, BD Packs, and today is the start of a brand new series we're gonna do. We're gonna do something pretty special and something pretty cool, and it's gonna be a great way for me to kind of connect with you guys and for us to build this community. But you and I are gonna start a brand new collection of hobby cards right now. So I'm at my local card shop and I'm gonna get things started for us, so let's do it. All right, we are back from the local card shop. I'm really excited. We got some pretty cool stuff to kind of kick off this collection. And again, this is how it's gonna work. It's a brand new collection. We're starting off from zero. You guys have all the control with it. I'm just kind of starting it off to kind of build the seeds, I guess. And it's a community collection. I cannot stress that enough. It is a community a collection. Whatever the majority thinks we should do, that's exactly what we're going to do. I do have a Discord ready to go if you guys want to join the Discord so you guys can keep talking about what we should do and how we should grow. The description, the link is in the description below. Please join. I'm excited to grow this collection together with you guys. So first off, to start off our brand new collection, we do need a card to kind of go off of. I donated this card from my collection. Uh, it is an RJ Barrett Noir Shadow Auto out of 99 rookie, of course. Uh, this card was in my control. Now it's in y'all's control. So whatever you guys think we should do with it, we're going to do with it. If you guys want to sell it and use the funds to get something else, we'll do that. If you guys want to trade it, if you guys want to keep it, whatever it is, we're going to do that. And we're going to see if its value grows over time, what happens with it, or how much we can get for it now. You guys get the gist. And then what we're about to do is we're about to break open some packs and really just add to our brand new collection. And to do that, first, if you want a cool collection... You got to have some weird stuff and some cool stuff and some things you think might, you know, grow in value over time. You never know. We're going to try to build an amazing collection. And over time, if we have this really high-end collection, that's going to be super amazing. And for that, you have to make some choices. So we're going to start off with this Marvel pack. Uh, it's a collect original art, sketch cards, 12 cards, Marvel Ages. Marvel might pick up in prices as all this content comes out. So maybe the trading cards pick up as well. We'll be ahead of the game with this part of our collection. So we got that. Then we also got uh, the last kind of entertainment thing. We got a Star Wars signature box, Todd box, one card. It will have an in-case signature in there. Just another cool, unique thing to have in our collection. Then we have one pack of NBA certified to start off with basketball. We have three hobby packs of Panini Contenders. And then lastly, we have an NFL Prism CEO pack. This is the most realistic way I could imagine somebody starting a new collection with prices of hobby box being at what they are. Really the best way to do it is retail products and random hobby packs. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're about to open this up, see what we can find. And again, you guys have all the power. We're starting this collection from zero. Whatever you guys wanna do with it, that's what we're gonna do. So again, go to the link in the description after the video, after you hit subscribe and like the video, of course. Join the Discord and let's do this together. We're gonna build something really cool. And with that being said, let's go ahead and rip some packs. All right, we are just about ready to get started. This is definitely an experiment uh, that I'm really excited to kind of do with you guys. Hopefully this kind of kicks off and this is something we can do and enjoy it together, just you and me. Um, I'm really excited. It's a great way for me to kind of get to know all of you guys as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. We're starting off with this Marvel pack. It's like 10 bucks, so it's not crazy expensive. And this is a kind of like, this is our prediction card. You know, if you want to start a collection, you want to have things that you think will grow over time because you don't want to start off spending so much. Otherwise, your value isn't really going to, there's not really going to be any like high point to it. You know what I mean? So it's just a unique thing. So we're going to go ahead and kind of do it that way. We got something kind of cool in there. Uh, we got Bishop here. We got Striker. We got Metal. Um, we got Iron Lad, then we got Cosmic Ghost Rider, then we got something right here, Saturday Morning Cartoons, The Avengers, all right, I guess that's an insert, we got the Falcon, that's actually pretty cool, like an action figure, and then we got a Cracked Ice, uh, Katie Bishop. Now, again, this might be something that kind of grows in value over time because of the new Hawkeye show. That's the kind of stuff we got to think about. And behind it, we got um, no Novar. Uh, but yeah, so this is just the kind of things uh, you think about as a collector and as somebody who's trying to grow a collection. So that's just, that's just kind of, if I can embark that wisdom on you guys, that 
is cool enough for me. Then we got Hellcat, we got Nova, and then we got Tigra. So that's our new Marvel collection. If you guys want to rip more of this stuff, um, let me know in the comments and the Discord. I'm going to go ahead and put this Kate Bishop on the, on the board there just because we don't know much about it. But let me know if that's something you guys want to see more of. Uh, maybe we'll be able to grow this collection, sell enough to buy a box of that. Who knows? It's all in y'all's power. Whatever you guys think we should do, we'll do. I want to... So let's go ahead and open the Star Wars box. This is just going to be one pack. Uh, and it's going to be encased, I believe. So we're going to go ahead and see what it is. We're going to use... Let's see. What can we use to kind of br let's just what should we just fast roll it let's just fast roll it. three two one kale cal hestis heistis from star wars fallen order i believe this is the voice actor for it in case pretty cool got the star wars sticker pretty looking auto amazing game so i'm not like mad at it or anything um yeah, Cal Hestis. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not too sure. I haven't played in a while. But yeah, so that's uh, that's our auto hit for Star Wars right there. So we'll put that on the board. And if you guys think we should hold this, then we'll hold it. Personally, I think we should sell it. But if you guys want to hold it, we'll hold it. I think it's more of a sell. I don't see this value growing over time. But that's a discussion you guys can all have. We'll vote on it. And if that's something you guys want to do, that's something we'll do. And I'll let you guys know in the next week's video. So that's kind of how this is going to work. Whatever decisions you guys decide, we'll have an answer the next week in the next following video. So if you guys want to sell this RJ Baird or sell this Kate Bishop or keep the Kate Bishop or sell the cow, we'll have that. We'll make a decision within the week and then we'll put it to a vote. And then the next week's video, we'll announce what we're going to do with it. So next we got, we'll go ahead and do some basketball. Let's rip some Panini Certified. I'm excited. Hopefully we get something cool. We did get something color. Oh, oh, I think we got an autograph. Look at that. We got an auto, I think. All right, here we go. We got Kyle Kuzma. We got Giannis Red. We'll save the auto. We got Jimmy Butler. We got a rookie of Skylar Mays. And then, let's see, who do we have here? XAV. Xavier Tillman. There you go. Not numbered, just a base auto, but we did get an auto. So there you go, guys. We're doing pretty well. We got two autos so far. Now, if you guys think we should hold this card, if you guys know a lot about Xavier Tillman and you think he's a stud and maybe just not a lot of people know about him right now, we can hold it. Or if you guys think it's a sell now type thing, that's what we'll do. Again, I'll let you guys know in the next week's video. And I'll sleeve this up and protect this uh, later as well. But there you go. So far, a great start to the collection. You got a rookie auto. You got some Star Wars auto. You got some cracked dice from Marvel. Now let's see if we can hit from um, football. We have three of these contender hobby packs. So hopefully we can snag an auto from this as well. But we'll see. So we got Kirk Cousins. Patrick Mahomes. Then we got a backwards or an upside down card of Josh Allen. Then we got Justin Herbert, Rookie of the Year, and Herbert Rookie Card. Look at that, Rookie of the Year insert, um, which essentially are the rookie cards for this product. So pretty cool. We got Herbert. We got Herbie. That's the top QB right there. Can't complain with that. Our collection's looking pretty good, you guys. I hope you guys are thinking what we should do. Um, yeah, so pack number two of Panini Contenders. Let's see, let's see, is there an auto in here? No auto. Do we got a rookie or we got an insert? We got a Patrick Mahomes MVP insert. All right, now our last pack of contenders. Can we snag an auto? That'd be pretty cool. I'm not too sure. I don't know if we got one. Don't know if we got one here. I don't think we did. It doesn't look like we did. And our Rookie of the Year, we got Cam Akers. Van Jefferson. I just assumed, I saw the colors and assumed. Van Jefferson. So two rookie cards there. Not too shabby. 
And our last, we got a CeeLo pack from NFL Prism. So let's, let's do this. We got one giant pack and one color pack. Can we get some more Herbert? If we're gonna pull Herbert, I would have rather it be in this pack, but we'll see. Mar Jackson, D.D. Westbrook, Josh Jacobs, Mitch Trubisky, Tyrod Taylor. Where's our rookie? Come on, be a rookie. Oh, we got orange. Is that gonna be Joe Burrow? Not the green, that's gonna be Kenny Stills, but is that orange gonna be Joe Burrow? I don't know. We got Patrick Mahomes, brilliance. We got Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow! Look at that, we got Joe Burrow. That's that's a win right there. We got a Joe Burrow base prism. Y'all, this collection's looking pretty nice, and you guys, we're gonna go ahead and put them on the board. You guys have all the say. You guys get to tell me exactly what we're gonna do, but pulling that Joe Burrow is pretty nice. Now I got some red, white, and blues. Can we get some more rookie QB action? We'll see. All right, we got, we got CJ Mosley. We've got one rookie there, and it looks like it's blue. Uh, who's it gonna be, James Prochet, Baltimore Ravens? All right, well, that is our rip. All right, now let's go back through. All right, let's go back through our highlights. In the Discord, I'll put the results of the break and card set. We should sell. I won't list any of the base uh, just because unless it's a specific player, they don't really do much. Uh, same with inserts. Again, these two might be something Giannis and Patrick Mahomes just because of who they are. But we're really just going to focus on rookies and our on-the-board hits um, when it comes to selling and stuff. And so, But I'll put the results and the prices of current worth into Discord, and then you guys will vote whether or not we sell, keep, or trade, whatever one we can do. Um, most likely though, trading will be difficult. So we'll probably just be selling or keeping, but start, first off, we have this Kate Bishop, which is currently valued from around $1 to like $8 on the eBay market. This Xavier Tillman rookie roll call, it was, goes for about $4 really just depending on the day. So if you guys want to keep it, if you think that's too low for a rookie auto, we can keep it and see if the value goes up. It's really unfortunate because these rookie roll calls used to be on-card autos, but given how everything is, they're all sticker autos. So, Justin Herbert from Panini Contenders is about an $8 card, so it's not too bad. It is just kind of an insert, but that's really all they are in Panini Contenders. There's not really a true rookie card unless it's a mem card or an auto. So, uh, this is an insert, and it goes for about eight dollars if you guys want to hold on it we can definitely see it is justin herbert so i understand both ways next we have our biggest pull of this little rip a joe burrow prism base this card is around 65 dollars. i will say my opinion is that this card will go up as he once he returns next season so my personal opinion is that we hold this card but if you guys want to go ahead and sell and try to get something else we can do that as well again this is all totally up and lastly, we have a Cal Hestis Auto from Star Wars Signature Series, the 2020 product. This card, since it is not numbered, it is the base variant. It goes for around 20 bucks, so it's not too bad. It's definitely something we can go ahead and sell now. But if you guys, for some reason, want to hold it, we can do that as well. Again, it's totally up to you guys. And that's really the entirety of this break. I'm excited to get this collection going. And what I'm really excited about is from a year now, hopefully this series goes strong and we all as a community build towards it and we do something really cool. And I'm really excited from a year now to look back at this video and see where we started. So I'm hopeful that you guys go on this journey with me, see what we can do. I'm definitely excited to do it with you guys. Again, I will price out everything that's worth pricing out in the Discord and letting you guys know if it's something we should do or sell or not. And if it's so, if it's worth anything, if anything is worth uh, selling at the moment, I'll put it on the Discord and you guys can vote if we should sell it or keep it. Uh, it's going to be totally up to you guys. And again, that RJ Barrett will be an option for you guys if we should sell it and keep it. Totally up to you guys. I'm I'm just really excited to go on this journey with you guys and see what we can do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, join the Discord if you haven't yet. Be sure to like and subscribe so you guys can stay up to date with how this goes. And yeah, let's do this.